And would you please join me in welcoming our master's degree candidates, our master's of fine arts candidates, and PhD degree candidates, along with her faculty advisors. And would you please welcome our faculty.
And finally, would you please welcome our honored guests, the members of the Chancellor's Cabinet, and our academic leaders. The Grand Marshal this evening is Dr. Shazal Lahiri, who's going to be carrying the University Mace to be placed with distinction up here on our platform. Jared Stern is the president of our undergraduate student government, and he'll be carrying our university charter, who will also be placing it up here on our platform. be seated at this time. Good afternoon. My name is Brad Caldwell, and I am proud to serve as the Interim Chancellor of Southern Illinois University at Carbondale. I am pleased to welcome the members of the class of 2016. <laughs> Further, on behalf of Southern Illinois University Carbondale, I am happy to welcome family, friends, and fellow students to celebrate our graduates' wonderful accomplishments. Before we begin our ceremony, will you please rise and remove your caps and join Sidney Dykus a graduate student in the School of Music and the singing of our national anthem, and then remain standing for a moment of reflection. Thank you. 
Thank you, Sydney. This is a very special occasion for those of you who are degree candidates, as well for, as well as for your family and your friends. Let us take a moment of reflection to focus on those accomplishments, those who helped you along the way, and the opportunities that lie ahead. Thank you, and please be seated. It's a pleasure for me to introduce to you my colleagues seated on the platform. Beginning with the second row on my far right and on your left, John Warwick, Dean, College of Engineering. Daphna Limish, Dean, Mass Communication and Media Arts. Tomas Velasco, Chair, Graduate Council. Jared Stern, Honorary Student Marshal and President of the Undergrad Student Government. Sajal Lahiri, Grand Marshal and Scholar Excellence Award recipient. Brandon Woodenberg, President, Graduate and Professional Student Council. H.D. Motel, Vice President, Faculty Senate. Laurie Bell, Interim Dean of the University College. Andy Wang, Dean, College of Applied Science and Arts. Yuting Lee, Dean of the Graduate School. Now in the first row, again beginning at my right and your left, Susan Patrick Benson, Honorary Reader and Associate Professor in the Department of Theater. Linda McCabe-Smith, Associate Chancellor for Institutional Diversity. Lori Stetler, Interim Vice Chancellor, Student Affairs. Jim Salmo, Vice Chancellor for Development and Alumni Relations. Wayne Searles, Board Member, SIU Alumni Association. Susan Ford, Interim Provost and Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs. Joan Higginbotham, today's keynote speaker, honorary degree recipient, and class of 1987. Charles Wheeler III, Distinguished Service 2016 recipient. Kevin Bain, Vice Chancellor for Administration and Finance. And Steve Ballot, our Master of Ceremonies and Class of 1987. Today's interpreters for the ceremony are Kim Kimberly Heidner and Patricia Aaron. And providing today's music is our commencement band under the direction of Associate Professor Christopher Morehouse. Many people who have supported and encouraged our degree candidates are with us to celebrate their achievements. We should take a moment to acknowledge these important people. Please hold your applause until all our special guests have been recognized. First, will the parents of our degree candidates please rise and remain standing? Parents, please rise. Okay, you can clap for them, it's okay. Will the grandparents please rise? If you're a grandparent of a graduate, please rise. If you're a spouse, a spouse-to-be or a partner, would you please rise and remain standing? Brothers, sisters of the degree candidates, and children of the degree candidates, and any other relative, usher, marshal, police officer, Everyone rise. Thank you all. Thank you so much for the great support and encouragement that you have given these folks along the way. Seated on the side of the graduating students are representatives of our faculty. Faculty members play a vital role in the success of our students as teachers and as researchers. They share their passion for knowledge, research, and service because they want to inspire our students. They have challenged you, our graduates, to do better because they know that you can. They have mentored and guided you because they know that your education 
is truly transformational. Our faculty members take great pride in the success of all our students, and I would ask faculty to please stand so we can acknowledge your outstanding commitment. Thank you, you may be seated. I want to take just a moment to tell you a bit about the members of the class of 2016. They come from all 50 states and dozens of international countries. They came to our university from, from small farming communities and major metropolitan areas. Many are the first in their families to earn a college degree. And I think you will find that their age ranges are as fascinating as I do. Today, we are awarding associate degrees to students from the age of 20 to 41. Our bachelor's degree candidates range in age from 19 to 62. Our master's degree candidates range in age from 21 to 64. And the range of doctoral candidates is from 27 to 64 years old. You will, you will also notice that a number of our students are wearing medallions. These students have earned a grade point average of 3.5 and above, and are graduating with Latin honors of cum laude, magna cum laude, or summa cum laude. Today, in all three of our ceremonies, we have recognized 458 students for this academic accomplishment. Students wearing gold cords have been members of the University Honors Program. Students wearing gold and maroon, a gold and maroon medallion on a maroon ribbon have completed the honors degree, comprised of seven honors classes and a three-hour thesis under the direction of a faculty member. Students wearing maroon and white cords are members of our athletic programs who have maintained a grade point average of 3.5 and above. Today, 102 students, again throughout our ceremonies, are graduating from SIUC with a perfect 4.0 grade point average. <laughs> Several of those folks are with us in this very ceremony, so would all degree candidates with a 4.0 GPA please stand. Would honors program students please stand as well? If you're a member of the honors, university honors program, if you would stand. And lastly, those who have earned Latin honors, if you're a Latin honor recipient, please stand. Let's recognize their accomplishments. Thank you, you may be seated. This last category brings me great honor as well. These are the degree candidates who are military veterans. They're wearing red, white, and blue cords, and I would ask them to stand so that we may thank them for their sacrifice and their service to our country. Military veterans, please stand. Thank you very much for your service. At this time, I would now ask Charles Wheeler III to come forward and Interim Provost Susan Ford to come to the podium for the awarding of our Distinguished Service Award. Good afternoon. I am pleased to share with you just some of the accomplishments of one of our Distinguished Service Award recipients. Charles Wheeler, has actively engaged, recruited, and mentored SIU Carbondale journalism graduates throughout his more than two decades leading public affairs reporting program. Founded in 1972 by former U.S. Senator and Public Policy Institute founder Paul Simon. Dozens of SIU Carbondale alumni have benefited from this prestigious program and from Charlie's influence in their careers. 
A native of Joliet, he came to the University of Illinois at Springfield after a 24-year career at the Chicago Sun-Times. At the Chicago Sun-Times, Charlie covered state government and politics for the newspaper beginning in 1970, when he covered the sixth Illinois Constitutional Convention. Since 1984, he has written a monthly column for Illinois Issues Magazine, which has won six Capital Beat Awards for magazine commentary and analysis. In 2006, the Illinois Associated Press Editors Association elected Wheeler to the Lincoln League of Journalists, which honors men and women who have provided exemplary service to other journalists and to daily newspapers in Illinois. In accordance with this recommendation and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Illinois, Southern Illinois University Board of Trustees, I present to you the Distinguished Service Award with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto and grant this certificate in the evidence thereof. I will now ask Joan Higginbotham to come forward. I am pleased to share with you some of the accomplishments of our honorary degree recipient. Joan Higginbotham earned her bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering in 1987. A Chicago native, NASA recruited her during her senior year at SIU Carbondale. She spent 20 years with NASA, starting as a payload electrical engineer. Joan served as a mission specialist aboard Space Shuttle Discovery during a 12-day STS-116 mission to the International Space Station in December 2006. She is the first known Saluki and the third African-American woman to fly aboard a space shuttle and logged more than 308 hours on Discovery. After leaving NASA, Joan served as Vice President of Business Development and Worldwide Production with Marathon Oil. In 2011, she started working for Lowe's Corporation, where she is now Director of Supplier Diversity. In 1997, she received SIU's Distinguished Service Award and was the 2007 Homecoming Parade Grand Marshal. Thank you, Provost Ford. In accordance with this recommendation, and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Southern Illinois University Board of Trustees, I confer upon you the degree Doctor of Aerospace Science, with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereto, and grant this diploma as evidence thereof. Good evening. Let's try that again. Good evening. Much better. Chancellor Caldwell, trustees, faculty, distinguished guests, graduates, friends, and families, what an honor it is for me to be here today and be bestowed this incredible honor. Thank you so very much. Before I begin my remarks, I would like to just take a moment of personal privilege and talk to the mothers in the audience and wish you a belated Happy Mother's Day. 
You must all be so very proud of your graduates. And you're even prouder that your graduates will be getting off of your payroll and onto someone else's payroll relatively soon. Being the youngest of four children, I know my parents were extremely elated when I walked across the stage to get my diploma, and more importantly, with a J-O-B waiting for me. So graduates, let me offer my most heartfelt congratulations to you all. This is one of the great milestones in your life. If you are anything like me, this day could not get here soon enough. So I celebrate with you today at this very special moment as you graduate, join the working world, and pay taxes like the rest of us. As I was preparing my remarks today, I thought to myself, what words of wisdom could I possibly impart to these students? As proven by a very popular TV show, most people are not smarter than a fifth grader. So obviously, I may not have great words of wisdom to impart with you. So my goal here is to share a few of my life lessons, offer a little bit of inspiration, and inject a little humor. So I'd like to talk to you this evening about finding your it. And you're probably thinking, finding what? So it's finding it, and let me explain a bit. It may surprise you to know that my it was not to be an astronaut, it was to be an electrical engineer. And so I envied my fellow astronauts who could tell me where they were at the precise moment in time when man first set foot on the moon and what a profound effect it had on their lives. Personally, I couldn't have cared less. I have no idea I was where I was at that historic moment. And yes, I was actually alive during then. So if you're trying to figure out quite how old I am, that should give you a clue. Now, I suppose my desire to be an engineer began when I was eight or nine years old, when I stumbled upon my brother's transistor radio. And I'm expecting all the engineering students to understand what a transistor radio is. So I opened the back of his radio, and I wondered in amazement what would happen if I cut all the beautiful, colorful wires in the back and attached them randomly back. And that's what I did. And at that moment, an engineer was born. Now, of course, my brother, who was incredibly peeved about the fact that his radio no longer worked, could not appreciate the fact that his radio had been the inspiration for my technical prowess. The fascination of wanting to know why and how, coupled with my love of math and science, led me to the En-ROADS program, which is a pre-engineering program for women and minorities. And it was through En-ROADS that I obtained an internship with IBM after my freshman and sophomore years in college. So fast forward to my senior year of college and my it, other than graduating with an electrical engineering degree, was to not move home with, back home with mom and dad. I, mean, I loved them dearly, but after four years of freedom in college, it was time to go. And at least one of my parents felt the same way. Thanks, dad. Remember, I was the last of four children, so they were pretty happy to see me go. So I was certain that I would hire on with IBM. They were a great company, and I had a great reputation as a good employee. Unfortunately, at the time I was graduating, they were not hiring engineers, but they told me that I could come on as a sales rep with my choice of 10 different cities. Now, I didn't know if I wanted to sell for a living, but not having any other offers and not wanting to move back home with mom and dad, I asked for time to think about the offer. Translation, I wanted to see who was gonna offer me something better and more money. So in the meantime, NASA obtained the resumes of the graduates from uh, the engineering, electro engineering and mechanical engineering degree. And one day in my dorm room, just clear out of the blue, I get a call from a NASA manager. Now to most people, this would be an absolute dream come true, but not to me. You see, a year earlier in 1986, NASA had just experienced one of the most horrific catastrophes. Space Shuttle Challenger disintegrated just moments into its flight. And no offense, but NASA seemed like a career limiting move to me. Besides, they were offering me $5,000 less than anybody else, and I had to move 1,200 miles away from home, from all my friends and family. However, after an all-expense-paid trip to Florida and seeing the space shuttle and the launch pads up close, can you say Star Wars, I figured I could always go back to private industry later. So Cocoa Beach, here I come. Now herein lies lesson number one. Graduates, have a career plan 
but don't be afraid to alter that plan for the right opportunity. So now my it changed from being an engineer to working for IBM to working for NASA as a rocket scientist and launching space shuttles. Seriously, how cool is that? And how many people get to do that? Not many. So my going in plan was to work for NASA for five years, reassess my career, and decide where to go from there. Well, at the seven year mark, it dawned on me that I had missed my five year assessment plan. Things were going extraordinarily well for me. I was moving up the proverbial career ladder and I obtained a master's degree courtesy of NASA. By the way, graduates, it's a beautiful thing when your employer or someone else other than you pays for your education. So I was working as a staff assistant to the engineering director when he uttered five little words that will literally change my life forever. He said, you'd make a great astronaut. And he smiled and I smiled, and I'm thinking, yeah, like that's gonna happen. About a month later, he asked me had I put in my application, and I said no. About another month later, he asked me if I put in my application, and I said no. Now, it's not rocket science. You know, I had to work that in there somewhere in my speech. But he was telling me in his own way that I needed to put in an application, and so I did with nearly 6,000 of my other closest friends. So let me break this down for you. 6,000 people applied to be an astronaut. Roughly half of those people were actually qualified. So that took the competition down to a mere 3,000 folks. And of those 3,000 people, only 122 were granted an interview. And I was one of those lucky 122. Now at the time, I was pretty sure it was a clerical error, but I went with it. Now we interviewed in groups of 20, and as each interviewee introduced himself or herself, I became more and more intimidated. Their credentials were beyond reproach. I was surrounded by Major General Big Wig who flew F-18s and Hornets and other aircrafts that I had never heard of. O-M-G, that's oh my gosh for the parents. <laughs> but as I stood and I introduced myself as a rocket scientist, I actually heard a few gasps in the room. So maybe I could hang with the big boys. So here's lesson number two. Don't compare yourself to anyone else. Each of us has differences that make us unique and very special. So believe in yourself and your abilities. Now, as the week progressed, I discovered everyone there was totally overwhelmed by the entire experience. We bonded, we laughed, we cried. Several people unfortunately got disqualified, which meant they never ever had a chance of being an astronaut. Now, it took a grueling six months for this process to complete. And I remember that morning like it was yesterday. I received a call from one of the selection committee members and the conversation began like this. He said, Joan, we had so many great candidates. And I don't know what he said after that because it really didn't matter because I had not been selected for one of those 15 life altering prestigious positions. Well, life as I knew it was over. Oh, and did I mention that one of my colleagues did get accepted, so I had to go to work and be happy for her? So what did I do? I did what any red-blooded American did. I threw myself a big old pity party. My boyfriend at the time was very sympathetic, and I just have to digress for a minute. My husband, who's sitting over there, always tells me to make sure the audience knows that he was not said boyfriend in story. So after what the boyfriend at the time thought was sufficient time of letting me wallow in my self-misery, he finally said to me, Pumpkin, there are 5,880 people that would have killed to have gotten an interview. Get over it. So after I kicked him to the curb, <laughs> that was later, actually, he actually had a point. I had really become so close to being selected that I had to find out what happened. So I asked one of the selection committee members and he said that they wanted my master's degree to be more technical. Not something I wanted to hear because I had just completed that master's degree. So I sucked it up, I pursued another degree, degree courtesy of NASA again, and long story short, I was selected in the next interview round a year and a half later. Thank you. Now here are lessons three, four, and five. 
The ability to pick oneself up and dust oneself off is a trait to be mastered by all. It will come in handy in life, in love, and your career, guaranteed. Surround yourself with people who will lift you up when you're down and give you a swift kick in the pants when you need it, because that's what real friends do. And in life, you will be presented with amazing opportunities. Always be prepared to take advantage of them. So my it had changed yet again, from wanting to be an engineer with IBM, to being a rocket scientist, working on the space shuttle, to being an astronaut flying on the space shuttle. So I'll have to come back another time and tell you all about those exploits of spending 13 days in space with an international crew and an all-male crew on the way home. But just to whet your appetites, we travel around the world at 17,500 miles per hour, which means we orbit the Earth once every 90 minutes. And in that 90 minutes, there are 45 minutes of daylight and 45 minutes of night. Therefore, in a 24-hour period, we get to see 16 sunrises and 16 sunsets. It's not a bad gig if you can get it. So I thank God that I had good fortune, wisdom, and the people to encourage me to do things I would have never dreamt of doing if I had not been pushed out of my comfort zone and taking risks that not everyone agreed with, I would have missed out on some of the most incredible opportunities to meet people from all over the world, fly in space, and travel the world over to talk with people about what I've accomplished and what they can, without a doubt, accomplish in their lives. Now, just in case you missed them, these are a few takeaways from the story. Your it will change as you grow and continue to evolve and mature. My it changed from an engineer to a rocket scientist to an astronaut to running a malaria program in Equatorial Guinea, Africa, to philanthropy, and now to supplier diversity. Who knows what your it will be five or 10 years from now? Secondly, don't let a setback hold you back. I could have easily gone on with my life and never reapplied for the astronaut program. And trust me, the thought did cross my mind a time or two. But I don't like being told that I can't accomplish something, so I had something to prove if not to anyone else but myself. And remember, the highs of successes are measured by how one handles the lows of failure. Now graduates, now is the time in your life for you to find what the it is that fuels the desire and the passion in you to do what you love. Don't choose a job for anyone other than yourself because you are the one that will have to live with it every single day of your life. Not your parents, not your spouse, not your partner, not your boo, not anyone. So do what you love. All my life I was told that the sky is the limit, but today I have to dispe respectfully disagree with that. I'm here to tell you that the sky is no longer the limit because literally I've been above and beyond the sky. So today, graduates of Southern Illinois University, class of 2016, I challenge you to work hard, reach high, and dream big. May you find the it that fuels the passion and desire in you. Congratulations. As a token of our appreciation and on behalf of Southern Illinois University, I present to you this keynote medallion. Thank you for your inspirational message to our graduates. that time, it is time for the conferring of degrees. I will now ask Provost Ford to come to the podium. Thank you, Chancellor. I will now ask the Graduate School Dean, Yu Ting Li, to present the candidates for the doctoral degree. Candidates of Graduate School, for the degree, Doctor of Philosophy. Please rise.
Doctor of Philosophy degree is the highest academic degree. It is awarded only to those who have demonstrated breadth of advanced knowledge and who have made an original research contribution to their discipline. Interim Chancellor Cowell, these candidates who have completed all requirements established by the university and the graduate school are recommended to you for that degree. Thank you. In accordance with this recommendation and by virtue of the authority vested in me by Southern Illinois University Board of Trustees, I confer upon you the degree Doctor of Philosophy with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Will the candidates for the doctoral degree please proceed to the platform? Baruz Abazi, Engineering Science, hooded by Dr. John Warwick. Mass Communication and Media Arts, Ngozi Akinro, hooded by Dr. Uche T. Onyabadi. Loué Abdul Fattah Barakat Al Tuareni, Electrical and Computer Engineering, hooded by Dr. Spiros Trakadotis. Chihu Park, hooded by Dr. Daphna Lemis. Michael Abu Conte, Engineering Science, hooded by Dr. Emmanuel C. Nsofor. The next part of our ceremony is the conferring of the Master of Fine Arts and the Master's Degrees. Graduate Dean Yu Ting Li, please present the candidate for the Master's Degree. Master of Fine Arts candidates, will you please rise? A Master of Fine Arts is seen as a terminal degree, meaning that it is considered to be the highest degree in the field. Candidates for the degrees Master of Architecture, Master of Arts, Master of Engineering, Master of Science, Master of Science in Medical Dosimetry, will you please rise? The master degree is the first graduate degree. Attainment of the master degree means that the students have acquired advanced knowledge in the field beyond that required for the bachelor's degree and has demonstrated superior achievement in creative or research activity. 
injuring Chancellor Cowell. These candidates, subject to completion of all requirements established by the university and the graduate school, are recommended to you for their respective degree. In accordance with this recommendation and by the virtue of the authority vested in me by Southern Illinois University Board of Trustees, I confer upon you the degree earned with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Will the candidates please be seated? Marshals will direct you to the platform. Doran Alter, Mass Communication and Media Arts, put it by Professor Howard Modell. <laughs> Jane Flynn, put it by Professor Daniel Overturf, Master of Fine Arts, Mass Communication and Media Arts. Jonathan Ray, Master of Fine Arts, Mass Communication, Media Arts, hooded by Professor Jay Needham. The College of Applied Sciences and Arts, Bradley D. Schultz. The College of Engineering, Nagar Moamai. Joshua D. West. Amir Dori. Jeremy Allen Clow. John Bennett Goodlow. Dylan M. Grant. Turkey Mohammed Al Said. Cole W. Hartke. Tien Hang Zhu. Aaron M. Neal. Zachary Taylor Christopher Smith. Jacob Charles Bruning. Daniel M. Olson. Philip M. Jordan. Matthew Givargis. Eric M. Okerstrom. Claudio G. Capello. Robert Francis Lyons. Paul Martin West. Stephen S. Lauer. Peter J. Zamiska. Hunter Adam Wilson. Hao Hui Lu. Patrick Stettina. Andrea Hernandez Gomez. Kristen R. Ellis. Natalia Landono Suluaga. Alicia M. Luthi. Ashley Patrice McClinton. Andrew Cunningham. Yao Yao. Casey M. Booker. Swati Tokala. 
Megan Nicole Kreider. Puja Maridas. Xiao Chen Chen. Sindhu Gorong. Mark A. Lazowski. Gotomi Sherry. Reza Siraji. Sandra Akabun. William Daniel Nikolai. Salman Suleiman. Cody A. Helderman. Sufi Momo. Brent James Bachman. Ganish Girimiri. Hillary E. Foster. Takal Santosh. Kelsey Taylor Johnson. Vivek Nupane. Sanchit Pura. Marlies Adair Raylin Wachter. Sandeep Dahal. College of Mass Communication and Media Arts, Kaylee Autumn Plotner. Povan Teja. Dwayne D. Moore, Jr. Anrag Elimilati. Elizabeth Francis Robinson. Navia Madinibi. Brett Jamal Marone. Abigna Colasetti. Demeter Belko. Nabil Salek. Hai Tao Zeng. Amit Raj. Jamie Olivia Brodner. Mahi Mahir Narish Kut. Jamie Olivia Bronnet. Sai Prashant Gola. Leah Nicole Williams. Tarun Mitapali. Abimbala Ian. Achit Kamariado. Danielle Marie Green. Akshay Chaudhary. Bowen Gao. Evan E. Brown. James Barapaka. Samita Srinivasan. Vagava Katrapelli. Prashant Kunduru. Radu Shekta Avadutu. Rivamp Pendiela. Anvilnat Pokori. Kumar Chandra. Yagna Naluri. Sharon Poredi.
Sarlan Gavrapati. Prashant Chigaloka Pali. Dari Charya Megaburweno. Zishan Sayed. Adel Asedi. Manoit Kukapale. Shankanil Sina. Suba Rayadu Serenini. Bhavan Kumar Javaji. Santosh Kumar Tandotru. Asha Pasham. We will now confer the undergraduate degrees. I will now ask Interim Provost Ford to introduce the deans. Dean Andy Wang, College of Applied Sciences and Arts. Dean Wang, would you please present the candidates for the Bachelor of Science and Associate in Applied Science degrees? We will the candidates from the College of Applied Science in Arts please rise. The candidates, the candidates of the College of Applied Science and Arts are presented the degrees Bachelor of Science and uh, associated in applied science. These degrees are awarded to those who have successfully completed the requirements established by the university, the faculty in the college, and the respective departments. Chancellor Cowell, these candidates are presented to you for the respected degrees. Candidates, please be seated. Dean John Warwick, College of Engineering. Dean Warwick, please present the candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree. Will the candidates from the College of Engineering please rise? The candidates of the College of Engineering are presented for the degree Bachelor of Science. The degree is awarded to those who have successfully completed the requirements established by the university and the faculty of the college and its respective departments. Interim Chancellor Colwell, these candidates are recommended to you for the Bachelor of Science degree. Candidates, please be seated. Dean Daphna Lamish, College of Mass Communication and Media Arts. <laughs> Dean Lamish, please present the candidates for Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science degrees. Will the candidates from the College of Mass Communication and Media Arts please rise?
the, the candidates of the College of Mass Communication and Media Arts are presented for the degrees Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science. The degrees are awarded to those who successfully completed all requirements established by the university and the faculty of the college and its respective departments. Interim Chancellor Colwell, these candidates are recommended to you for the respective degrees. Please be seated. Now don't get too comfortable. Will all candidates for the bachelor and associate degrees please once again rise. Interim Chancellor Caldwell, these candidates, subject to the completion of all requirements established by the university, are recommended to you for the respective degrees. Thank you, Provost Board. In accordance with the recommendation of the deans and faculty, and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Southern Illinois University Board of Trustees, subject to the completion of all requirements, I confer upon you the degrees earned with all rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Okay. Will all candidates with the bachelor and associate degrees please be seated? Candidates for the bachelor and associate degrees will now as directed by the article for receipt of the degree. After receiving your degree, all degree candidates should return to their seats until the recessional begins. The College of Applied Sciences and Arts, Christopher Michael Allison. The College of Engineering, Nigel K. Kadrich. Burton Chait. Mesfer Muhammad Al Fahad. Zara Al Zaman. Mohammed Aldasari. Fatima Nasser Asahabani. Mohammed Ali Al Arjani. Matthew Joe Dillon Keys. Abduhaldi Hamad Almari. Melissa S. Nicklin. Christopher David Gaines. Mohammed Alwajahan Almari. Philip James Lochran. Mubarak Mohammed Almari. Matthew B. Booker. Rami Abdullah Aldawodi. Andrea D. Sutherland. Hamad Mohammed Tobegi. Ladera Turner. Jaffa Khalif Al Balawi. Haley Alexis Hildenbrand. David Lamar Wadi Sr. Courtney Nicole Birch. Tak Raj Olja. Jamie Lee Holmes. Sudarshan Sibyl Kumar. Carly Nicole Sarf. Williams Blanco. 
Lindsay Rachel Larson. Benjamin J. Temple. Bria Elizabeth Holford. Ryan John Wickham. Christy M. Chelman. Dojgatov Paul Antonguero. Alejandra Lorena Gutierrez. Aaron G. Sawyer. Leslie Mena. Kendall Creighton. Jill M. Pratt. Andrew Lee Hoover. Katie Lynn Coleman. Ryan Patrick Mugoski. Ashley Dawn King. Emily Bechtel. Lacey R. Coltis. Edward L. Malinowski, Jr. Kelly M. Holden. Sean M. Beer. Jody Faye Beeler. Joshua David Goff. Holly Ashton Reed. Devin Charles Aikman. Stacy Ann Selmer. Eric Lim. Lauren M. Crocker. Julio Cesar Hernandez. Jordan Beth O'Donnell. Luis Uriel Cortez. Jacqueline Annette Miller. Brendan R. Hale. Casey S. Wheatley. Cindy Diane Anderson. Brittany Hyen. Samuel L. Shane. Logan M. Beaker. Robert Patrick Milliken. Mackenzie Renee Shalom. Jacob L. Pocotti. Ashley Nicole Edmond. Andrew L. Conroe. Jalissa Morgan Payne. Samuel B. Altman. Courtney J. Crawford. Jess Pilly. Sarah N. Malinowski. Lucas Bradley Fink. Emily C. Brown. Seth H. Truey. Paige Catherine Sirico. Kevin P. Theophilus. Courtney E. Lambert. Evan M. Waterloo. Ashley Denise Griggs. Zachary Logel Anslinger. Brooke A. Ranger. Matthew Cowan. Caitlin Suzanne Slidem. Brock Bolin. Callie M. Victor. Joseph A. Ringelstein. Sarah A. Stiegel. Todd Joshua Moore. Jenna Lee Golden. Clint Aaron Greist. Nicole A. Oligas. Ifraka Umana. Ashton Rochelle Aller. Richard Eric Adams. Joshua Kyle Wilson. Fitzum T. Mengesha. Gillian? Gilliland? Ty Austin Gilliland. Jacob K. Haxton. Vandaloo? Alexander Corey Vandaloo. Paul Joseph Sheridan Jr. Michael Eric Kingston. Kyle Hinson. Adam Bartakoviak. Thomas Michael F. Moore. Shana Elaine O'Doran. Julian Christopher Burden. Casey Addison Stoneburner. Sean Thomas Jr. Holly M. Connor. Christopher James Steckerson. Christopher M. Sycon. Philip Cody Barrett. Dana Louise B. 
Michael R. Langenstein. Martina Stancoot. Shea M. Sicklehorst. Christopher Stephen Grace. Tyler J. Betzler. Kylie R. Henniger. Connor A. Friedrich. Emma C. Janzing. Stephen Michael Blair. Alicia D. Cardinal. Edgar Orozco. Sarah A. L. Lohman. Austin D. Derricks. Ashley L. Kowalsik. Donald R. Francescan. Jenna Nicole Lasky. Sawyer D. Schrader. Danica Taran. Blake Dan Christopher Geralds. Danica Taran Snyder. Austin J. Pavlik. Julius Sadabras. Jason Daniel Ulbricht. Justin O. Williamson. Chad Ellis Whitehead. Shahid Khan. Harold Curtis Alvis. Michael Paul Duda. Albert Pyong Woo Kim. Peter M. Menching. Craig M. Walsh. Melissa Kraft. J. Edward Desis. Michael John Meyer. Theodore M. Falasak. Amy E. Taylor. Bea S. Kazadi. Nicholas S. Roback. Austin W. Caldwell. Bradley J. Smaga. Addison Scott Job. Amy Joy Lapla. Jacob M. Palmer. Tram N. Mai. William P. Day. Brooke Christine Clary. Dominic A. Durando. Ariel M. Green. Nicholas R. Williams. Victoria A. Mitchell. Christopher E. Miles. Haley G. Cronin. Matthew Michael Winkler. Caitlin M. Hartke. Eric F. Gerstenkorn. Jessica J. Hardwick. Erica Hernandez. Carrie Lynn Coase. David J. Colross. Eric J. Seacrest. Ryan E. Borst. Eric Gonzalez. Ben T. Millis. Joel Campos. Evan M. Williams. Dexter Michael Lee. Christopher Robinson Cruz. Donnell F. Moore. Sean Thomas Martin. Sheridan Anthony Johnson Sr. Christo A. Miller. Anthony T. Barnes Jr. Martin A. Schutte. Gautier Gian Jones. Patrick Zane Grimm. Shadrick Black. Brent T. Blummer. Andrew L. Jackson. Kelby Rogers. Zachary D. Weber. Molly J. Caprin. Luke A. Henson. Kathleen L. Wendell. Callahan Huffman Jordan. Megan Gwyneth Rotman. Nicholas Ray Mack. Marty Elizabeth Buchanan. Cody L. W. Rao. Christopher E. Dion. Jacob E. Petty. 
Benjamin C. Donahue. Casey Reveille. George Houston Waring the Sixth. Robert D. Councilman. Trevor Charles Ingstrip. Sean G. Patel. Kevin P. Cascipio. Amanda K. Nash. Juan Atero Velasco. Wei Lin. Nicholas C. Hager. Austin William Whitnauer. Richard D. Groff III. Rebecca Underwood. Daryl Paul Prem Kumar. Kendrick R. Hintz. Patrick K. Shelk. Emily C. Hamilton. Matthew John Vitagliano. Lauren K. Othka. Corey Lowell Hall. Joseph R. McKinney. Bradley Kyle Jones. Shib K. Jerrywalla. Mark Lendl Castro. Jarrett A. DeWitt. Glenn Dean Graves II. Matthew A. Maloney. John David Julik. Kelsey Diane Kaufman. Brandon John Hemmen. Adam R. Tregoni. Arno V. Blazes. Matthew A. Baumgartner. Albert Anthony Lyles. Kyle, Kyle E. Eliakis. Mataz Shaker. Joshua M. Kirby. Bandar Binosfer. Austin S. Pierce. Adul Wahab Aljumana. Reno L. Mason. Telmir Atia. Courtney L. Keen. Hussein Tasir Asalik. Zachary William Turnbull. Jasmine Abdullah Wahab. Chris Wiskowski. Abdullah Mahan Hashim Abbas. Storm A. Clary. Mansur Sultan Supran. Titi Aguban Prince. Khalid Ibrahim Asali. Pankil Patel. Nasa. Alatabi. Wilbus Stressbus. Khalid Mohammed Akaldi. Brian Michael Beach. Haitham Ashamari. William T. McGuire. Fahad Yusuf Al Kafran. Stephen Joseph gone. Nicholas Adam Durkin. Anas Khalid Alamet. David A. Johnson. Dalpa Arafaldel. Trevor J. Herderhorst. Abdulaziz Ablaid. Matthew Thornton Klein. Fawaz Algamdi. Maria Elvira Palmerin. Ferris Alfagi. Kiara Lynn Wyatt. 
Abdala Mohammed. Jason Trenton. Lachey Bulliner. Trenton J. Miller. Ashley O. Adams. Jason Ray Jansen. Nate Juliana Pointexter. Zachary S. Lomax. Warren K. Farley Jr. The College of Mass Communication and Media Arts. Keyshawn Riley Adkins. Lynette Renee Reynolds. Raven Simone Pearson. Taylor Anise Johnson. Shakela T. Hart. Brittany Ashanti Hardaway. Marquita Antoinette Funches. Isis Cecilia Jenkins Long. Shauna Ann Reasoner. Renisha Brianna Donson. Alexis Ashea Emerson. Simone L. Blackman. Nataria Horton Davis. Robin Yvette Tinker. Alexis Shawnice Travis. Alexander Ludwig Sweet. Eric W. DeVitz. Josh P. Vopi. John C. Cole. Connor F. A. Strell. Christy Lammy. Daniel J. Bach. Taylor C. McKee. Zachary C. Green. Crystal LeBrandon Young. Zachary Adam Risha. Whitfield Smith II. Sean K. Freeman. Christine L. Swartz. Zachary S. Spencer. Dominique Dante Cameron Dixon. Aaron C. Sandage Canope. Bridget A. Egan. Patricia L. Pearson. Elizabeth DeVito. Ryan Thomas Lay. Madison J. Freeman. Maxwell A. Zucker. Erica Ashley LaShawn Johnson. Alexander F. Ulrich. Jasmine Alicia Jones. Matthew Xavier Sanders. Portia A. Butcher. Jacob Brown. Cynthia Brackens. Patrick E. Ostrander. Balana Carnice, Carnice Bell. Todd M. Wigan. Peter C. Shorsch. Emma D. Paterakis. Brandon Anthony Vong. Emily Jelinek. Tyler J. Foster. Paige Elizabeth Frankovich. Mikhail, Mikhail O. Carpinko. Luke J. O'Neill. Matthew M. McCann. Anna Michelle O'Neill. James Vortman. Marissa S. Novel. Kurt S. Hammond. Aaron Riddle. Daniel Woodruff Myers. Sean M. Bowen. Scott Charles Peterson. Mac A. Lewis. Kristen Barbara Ferris. Nicole K. Jones. 
Marcus Rayshon Millinder. Wade Allen Stopko. Kevin Michael Walker. Nora L. Jasinski. Jonathan Ray Moy. Zachary John Miller. Jordan Alexandria Cox. Joseph Richard Fry. Jaquana Davis. Jacob E. Linder. Victoria Hatchet. Evan B. Jones. Wazia A. Fashina. Austin Miller. Amber C. Willingham. Scott L. Ellison. Malila S. Early. Brandon S. Cerny. Jarice Karen Hughes. Brendan J. Gents. Shaquilla Amira Miller. Travis Smith. Taisha Coletta Dean. Trey W. Meyer. Destiny Jones. Theodore G. Setterland. Dornique K. Williams. Kevin P. Klimek. Lauren N. Baffor. Kevin Ham. Courtney Marie Bunting. LaQuinta Tias. Megan K. Witt. Abdul Hasib. Melanie R. Albert. Ahmad Ferdows Shafi. Alex M. Wilson. Shoria Kurana. Jacqueline M. Boatman. Abdul J. Baloch. Chase Myers. Benjamin Villa III. Matty E. Lidner. Salvador Davalos. Lindsay R. Hentrick. Ashley Marie Johnson. Caitlin N. Grimwood. Katie L. Larson. Ronnie Joe LaForge. Kelsey L. Eimer. Lauren K. Morris. Carly N. Rook. Christopher K. Lewis. Alexis Rose Thompson. Justin James Sipe. Kenzie M. Knuth. Candace A. Sewell. Christina Lee Cox. Valimia T. Curry. Lacey Jade Smith. Jamesia Niche Banks. Alicia E. Davis. <laughs> Kenneth Justin Ayers. Mallory Christine Shelton. Jalen Keith Little. Nicanor Blacara Torres. Jabri Hughes. Andrew Sue Kong. Demetrius D. Green. <laughs> Sun Q. Kwan. Khadija Mitchell. Minku Yi. Jamal L. Jackson. Tristan Kathala Andrews. Dorian. D93 Huff. Nicole Roback. Megan Christine Robinson. Patrick C. Fraze. Tierra Unique Smith. Daniel Kenneth Zines. 
Justin C. Hankinson. Leslie Marie Torres Santiago. Thomas R. Kendall. Joshua Hubert McFarland. Samuel Thompson. Harley J. Lawless. Willem R. Black. Troy Kirkpatrick. Garrett K. Willis Bonner. Brandon Lynn Kelly Grease. Cassandra Marie Catherall. Ali Ahmed Salami. James Andrew Deming. Khalid Ali Mashur. Harrison Grant Meyer. Alan Clayton Arada. Christopher Matthew Smarto. Cheng Lao Yi. Aaron K. Johnson. Aaron Selmara. Elizabeth A. Zinchuk. Mohammed Mansoor. Stephanie L. Hegland. Patrick J. Bucco. Kelsey M. Kattenbreaker. Nice hat, I like that. Evan J. Campbell. Daniel V. Hartley. Adorman K. Haji. Joseph Robert O'Shea. Paul Harris. David R. Vasquez. Elijah, Elijah J. Schultz. Malcolm Rupert Roach Jr. William Barra. Melanie Nicole Early. John J. Bachman. Tanner Scott Johnson. Brandon Paul Pratt. Emin Emerson Spencer Moy. John William Wright. Lindsey Cantrell. Paul O'Connor. Aaron Matthew Graff. Philip Christopher Glodo. Braden Michael Barton. Michael David Higgs. Marta J. Perillo. Brandon C. Brushwitz. Caitlin E. Shannon. Ivan J. Vaughn. Jocelyn A. Jenkins. Evan F. Wade. Braden Brown. Zachary Thomas Swint. Zachary Austin DeFreitas. Jacob R. Mueller. David Andrew Runick. Alec Tepps. Thaddeus Allen Lolling. Gregory Allen Whalen. Colin D. Gallivan. John C. Thompson. Gary Donald Sicados Jr. Wilson L. Metter. Jalisa J. Whittington. Marissa Marie McComas. Brianne Nicole Bozzetti. Andrew J. Gestrine. William V. Alexander. James J. Chamberlain. Andre Musamadi. Kevin D. Cron. Evan Matthew Swank. Byron Pierman Howlett IV. Brittany R. Retoff. Ryan M. Altman. Carl Jambajus Stegman. Nathaniel L. Burgett. Hannah J. Redinius. 
Brittany Bova. Corinne Cisafuentes. Christopher M. Dudenbossel. Tyler J. Rore. Haley M. Walsh. Brandon D. Buck. Kinsey Renee Richmond. Brittany Ray Fessenden. Randy Enos. Kristen Levine. William Lyons Scott. Margaret Mary Cassane. Andrew M. Opolt. Aaron J. Adcock. Jose Tabar. The College of Applied Science and Arts, Brock A. Featherstone. Tyler David Wittick. Nicholas Aquila. Alex Eliseo Chavez. Ignacio Amasquita. Philip Sean Ringel. Andrew Londaway. Matthew S. Heberly. Joseph Paul Boucher. Adam D. Heck. Joshua A. Hansel. Zachary Edward McTee. Brock Michael Priest. Jack Weatherford. William J. Fry. Daniel R. Lustman. Juan Antonio Mercado Jr. Jordan Thomas Hoyt. Stephanie J. Schatz. Tyler E. Mobley. Kelsey A. Boozen. Kevin J. Legault. Olivia Antoinette Serra. John Mark C. Herwalt. Tiva Amariel. Kurt Wolfgang Kite. Kimberly Sutter. Salman Mirza. Otis. Darnell Woods. Umer and Shaw. Jamil Al Alasiri. Eno Sila. Cody Morell. Kevin J. Magus. Connor L. Canope. Matthew James Treadle. Brett Wesley Butler. Omar Mukahal. Jamin L. Champion. Jonathan James Wong. Brandon J. Hasty. Patrick J. Riley. Maxwell T. Richardson. Adam J. Furget. Kayla Toth. Anthony M. Heathcote. Miranda Smith. Christopher L. Coquelinburg. Nicole Humphrey. Christopher R. Clavero. Michaela Darnay Bunting. Bruns? Dustin Travis Brun. Stephanie Joy Fryer. Grenchik? Joseph Robert Grenchik. Kadisha Balazi. Jacob S. Roy. Emma Catherine Bowling. Jeremy C. Sutton. Chelsea M. Cornell. Raphael F. Buyag II. Tori L. Nosovitsky. Michael Evans. Shelby L. Brower. Jacob J. Conroy. Shelby Joe Seaman. Terrence E. Bolden. Lindsay N. Scranton. Amir Mohammed Khan. Samantha Ellen Sibarowski. Emmanuel Brian Mullins. Olivia B. Munson. 
Jesus Rocha. Emily Ray Harrelson. Omar Vanacio Torres. Taylor Jalen Sicardi. Martez Adewale. Sarah D. Pinkley. Eric Flores. Haley Nicole Pence. Jumond C. Goodwin. Courtney M. Lloyd. Alexander Madrano. Trina Nicole Phillips. John R. Kemple. Nicholas Merle Payne. Andrew B. Johnson IV. Kyle Roger Lansdowne. Alexander William Belts. Dalil Violet Cortez. Paul A. Boris. Kara Catherine Burgess. Michael Montijo. Angela R. Werman. <laughs> Tiffany Eileen Greminger. Autumn May Petrowski. Zachary D. Burr. Angelique Dominique Schein. Jacob Kyle Deberry. Madison Lee Harvey. Ernesto Perez Jr. Jasmine A. Cruz. John William Palkovic. Samuel Vincent Renner. Ryan P. Clausen. David Paul Renner. Logan M. Duckworth. Hayden Owen Farmer. Joshua A. Cromick. Anna M. Aguilar. Eric R. Schultz. Brianna L. Strau. Austin Lee Leopold. Amber L. Monson. Daniel M. Lowry. Stephen Lee. Scott L. Sullivan. Heather Ashley Zutton. Patrick D. David Gunther. Nathan T. Stark. Dennis C. Moichano. Eric Farias Diaz. Calvin P. Corain. <laughs> Elva Jean Heiligenstein. Dominic A. Lucchese. Tyler William McGriff. Ryan W. Holscher. Christopher Edward Sedarius. John Paul Grisho. James E. Casey. Samuel M. Liskovitz. Mary A. Samian. Austin Henry Mulcahy. Caitlin Elizabeth McIntyre. Paul I. Hayes. Jeffrey Allen Stopa. Matthew K. Melander. Adam Scott McAllister. Ryan G. Kozakowski. Anna C. Metzger. Frank Joseph Travaglio. Eric Dag Anderson. Tyler A. Kovac. Adam J. Young. Abraham N. Traverso. Ryan A. Pitt. Sean Michael Carter. Logan Michael Hennis. Joshua M. Perkey. Matthew J. Schaff. Adam P. Boss. Will all degree recipients please rise?
tradition has it, tradition has it that until an associate's and bachelor's degree is conferred, the tassel must fall to the right of the cap. So now, with vocal support from everyone gathered herein, I call on graduates to transfer the tassel from the right to the left. Now, if you would please be seated for just one final moment. It is now my pleasure to introduce our SIU Alumni Association speaker, Wayne Searles. Wayne is a member of the SIU Alumni Association. Thank you. Greetings, graduates. I want to officially welcome all of you to the SIU alumni family. As a graduate of SIU, I can tell you that you will look back with pride at the time you spent here and realize the endless opportunities enabled by your SIU education. More than 250,000 alumni have come before you and some of them are here today. Would those with us who are graduates of Southern Illinois University please stand and be recognized? You guys are... Thank you. As you notice, your alumni family is here to support you as you make your way out into the world. Call on us and we will respond. Wear your class ring, display your diploma, and wear Saluki maroon. As you consider how to connect with fellow Salukis, remember your SIU Alumni Association. The association is powered by the relationship of our alumni, friends, and students. Those connections launch careers, inspire causes, and change lives. Our national board is still committed to offering a complimentary membership to each graduate who wants one. I urge each of you to check your emails and regular mail in the coming days to learn how you can redeem that one year complimentary membership. I hope you use that membership to its fullest extent. That means more than just some discounts at businesses or enjoy enjoying alumni events. It's also your established link to alumni worldwide who share SIU as their alma mater. It's your chance to get in touch with someone in your field, your chance to get your foot in the door of a particular company or business, and your chance to stay connected to your college and to this university. So today, it's you who find yourself searching for that next step in life wondering what the future will bring and who will give you the opportunity you need. One day, you will be the one searching for someone to hire, someone to give that same chance that you once needed as in today. So above all, I hope you take this membership and use it to stay engaged with your department and the university and countless generations of students who will someday walk the halls and campuses of SIU just as you have. But once again, congratulations. The faculty, staff, and students of our great university look forward to your many trips back to campus. And always remember, you were a student for a few years, but you are a Saluki for life. Thank you very much. Thank you, Wayne. Now in a moment we're going to be celebrating this event by everybody singing this Southern Alma Mater. And after the singing of the Alma Mater, we ask that all guests please remain in your seats until our processional is complete. Now the words and the music for the Alma Mater, they're printed on page 13 of your program book. And at this time, to the microphone on my right is Sydney Dykus. Sydney is now going to lead us in the singing of the Alma Mater. So will everyone please rise at this time and let's join Sydney Dykus.
you, Sydney. Ladies and gentlemen, you can be seated at this time. And I am going to ask that you please remain in your seats until our recessional is complete. Your graduate will be able to meet you on the concourse level of the arena where they may be returning their regalia in the lobbies, or they can do that outside in the Circle Drive, which is just south of the arena. And for those of you that may be a little uh, uh, direction challenge, south of the arena is this way, straight ahead of where I am. But before we wrap up this evening's festivities, with permission from the Chancellor, would you mind if I have just one more question for our 2016 Saluki graduates? Saluki graduates, are you ready? Thank you. 